What's up everybody, Nick Bros here, and we are going to be doing a uh, Fortnite tutorial for you guys. Uh, a lot of you are probably already playing this awesome free-to-play game, which is uh, free across all platforms, uh, console, PC, and it's super fun to play. So we're going to give you a little rundown. If you're already playing the game, hopefully you just enjoy the show. We're going to try to get ourselves a little victory here. We'll see how that goes. No promises. Uh, and then if you have not played this game, hopefully you kind of see what the fundamentals are and um, can see how much fun this game actually is. Alright, so let's... So to start off, you start on the battle bus, you pick a spot on the map, and you dive and try to get to those spots. So we're going down to these houses here, kind of taking a peek around to see if anybody else is landing, which... I don't know, it doesn't look like anybody's here, but... You guys gotta be cautious. So we're going to drop in. First thing we're going to do is try to find uh, weapons. And what you saw me do right there is uh, basically most of the uh, playground is uh, interactive. You can mine it to get supplies, which then in turn can be used to build, uh, which can help you get from point A to point B. They provide protection. If you're being shot, you can build barriers. Um, that blue thing that I added there was... Uh, shield which you can see increased on the bottom the top bar there that basically helps you You know protects you before your life points are taken So your shield will deplete before your health actually depletes In most cases except for one and that one case is if you are caught outside of the storm which you saw uh, storm shrinks in the three minutes and You'll see that line near my arrow, which I'm currently running away from, and that line leads to that circle. So once that time expires, the storm's going to start to shrink, and you have to get inside the zone before the storm catches up to you. If you're caught outside the storm, your health points will be depleted, and they will deplete uh, even if you have shield on. Shield will not protect you from the storm. As much as we all wish it could, it will not. Uh... I see we just go full shield. So this thing here, Slurp, real quick to drink and it uh, increases your uh, shield and health by 25, but it counts up from 25. So it takes, I think, 25 seconds for it to fully, uh, fully, you know, work. So I can't just go ahead and pop two of them in a row. I have to wait until the first one's done before I can pop the second one. So I'm popping both of those to fill my shield up even though I don't need any health right now. And we got somebody coming down this way. But I also want to... All right. Hold on, let's see here. We're going to try to snipe this person coming in. I don't know where they went. So you really got to leap because uh, bullets in Fortnite have bloom, so they will fall off, they will spread. So you really have to be strategic about where you're shooting. So right there, I know that it's not just point and shoot. You actually have to lead, you have to like, you know, get ahead of the person. I'm pretty sure that's the person that was running away from me. Let's try it again. Oh, almost. All right, so we're going to start heading towards the circle. So we've looted, and I'm pretty sure that if that person's over there, they've already looted those areas. I can't really tell. Run around with the axe. They know I'm trying to snipe them. So we're going to be care. Oh, okay. Still just running away. Running towards that prison. I don't know if I should be following them or not, but we're going to give it a whirl. We're going to try to get a kill here.
Oh, we got somebody there. All right, so we took one out. I don't know where the other dude went. This guy actually didn't have anything. So that's interesting. All right. Oh. Trying to figure out where this person is. Found him. All right, so that was a very close one. But we managed to make it happen. All right. So we're gonna go by this wall and use one of these med kits. Heal us up all the way. Pop a slurp to get some uh, shield back. I feel like I should take that rocket launcher. In fact, I'm going to. Or a grenade launcher, actually. I've got eight grenades, so. And I've got a regular AR. So I feel like I should use that. Just assuming somebody got this, but maybe I should take a peek. Find out for real. It does look like somebody got this, so. Hmm. Yeah, it's just shotgun shells up there, which I have plenty of. Alright, so you saw a little bit of building there, which is. Huge, because it probably would have died if I wasn't able to build there, like I did. Um, even just for a distraction, even if he could still see me, you just, you know, it, it helps out a lot. It's a huge part of the game. And you'll see towards the end, once you, people start getting to the center of the circle, and they kind of know where it's closing in, people start building huge forts. I kind of want to go for that supply drop. In fact, we're going to. Perfect. So we're going to get full shield, which is great. So these loot crates drop in, and uh, and you're able to go get them, and they usually contain some pretty good stuff. All right, but now we got to start heading back towards the circle. So that took us kind of out of our way. So we're back to full shield, which is great.
biggest thing I've learned while playing this game is uh, it's very important to keep moving. Even if you're like standing up by a tree, you know, kind of in the shade, you think you're protected. Well, we could grab this supply drop too. We do have kind of a ways to go, but if we do it fast, see what they have. Um. Yeah, I think we're going to leave it. Um, but even if you're standing up like by a tree or something, it's still important to keep moving because it makes you harder to snipe, it makes you harder to pick off, it makes it harder for, you know, people to hit you, especially with the bloom of the bullets. Um it just it, it's the best thing to do and always keep your head on a swivel because you're gonna notice that when you're starting to run through fields and stuff you're just gonna see random people all over the place so right there somebody is built up I don't know oh I do know where those shots are coming from Somebody is sniping at me. And just like that. Got the rocket kill. I do kind of want to go see what they have, but I got to heal up. to go so Another good example of how building saves lives. <laughs> Super important to the game. So we're down to 11 left. Hopefully we can keep this going. Keep lucking out and finding more shield. I'll take it. Okay, how?
All right. We're going to hang near the shadows for a minute. I need more fucking ammo. Ugh! I need more ammo. All right. Six left. Five, including me. Or, well, five and me. where that was coming from. Nailed them. So we kind of built up a fort here. And everybody's got to come in by us. So we just got to watch for people with grenade launchers, things like that. So that's why I don't like to build up too, too high. So there's two people left. One person left. They could be anywhere up in that hill. Oh, 
We saw him. Oh, he has no idea where I am. And that's how it's done. Nice little 10 kill victory. And that is how you play Fortnite. So, I hope you guys learned a lot of stuff here. Uh, you learn about building, you learn about the looting, uh, you learn about the chests, all that different stuff. Shield, health. Um, that's kind of what I wanted to do. I just wanted to show the basics and hopefully put on a good show in which, I don't know, I, I thought that was a pretty uh, exciting game. So, I want to thank everybody for watching. Please like and subscribe if you can. Uh, follow my Twitch. It's in the description. Um... And yeah, we're broadcast pretty much every day. Uh, very few breaks and days off, so definitely follow the Twitch. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video and live on the stream. Have a good one.